Having shrubs in your yard is a terrific way to keep things looking nice, even in the dead of winter, because many of them have beautiful autumn flowers, fall foliage, and berries. Many also have a long flowering season, from early summer all the way through the first hard frost. When summer flowers are gone, you can still appreciate the beauty of your shrub borders and foundation plants. Number one, witch hazel. The witch hazel shrub in your garden may be the first to bloom depending on where you live. Vase shaped and potentially 12 feet tall and wide, these shrubs are easily maintained through clipping. Expect brilliant yellow or orange fall leaves if you grow this plant in full sun. Avoid leaf scorch by watering plants regularly during dry spells. In zones five to eight, you can grow witch hazel. Number two, forsythia bushes. Forsythia is an early blooming hardy and aesthetically pleasing bush. Forsythia flowers are so popular because they bloom before the plant's leaves do in the spring. However, after the flowers have faded, the bush is no longer attractive. If you want your forsythia to seem neat and tidy, prune it just after its spring bloom is over. It is ideal for zones five through eight. Number three, common lilacs. Beautiful clusters of fragrant flowers can be found on this bush in May. Despite the availability of numerous hybrids, many gardeners continue to favor the traditional scent of wild lilacs. Unless the suckers of the common lilac are cut down, the plant can quickly become invasive. It thrives in climate zones three to seven. Number four, Rose of Sharon. The Rose of Sharon is a late summer blooming bush that provides yard color in between the spring and fall blooms of other plants. The Rose of Sharon is a hardy plant that thrives in a variety of climates and soil types. Since flowers are formed on the newest growth, spring is the best time to prune for form. It does best in zones five through eight. Number five, Fothergilla bushes. Fothergilla, a shrub that blooms throughout the year, is known for its fragrant white bottle brush flowers in the spring. Mount Airy dwarf Fothergilla shrubs, on the other hand, are favored by many gardeners for their brilliant fall color. One leaf may feature several different colors. Since fathergilla bushes and azaleas and rhododendrons have comparable soil and cultural requirements, they are frequently planted together. Its optimal range is from zone five to eight. Number six, oak leaf hydrangea. The oak leaf hydrangea bush is beautiful throughout the year. Oak leaf hydrangea has pretty summer flowers but its leaves truly shine in the fall when they change colors. Add peat moss or an acid-enhanced fertilizer to soil that lacks the proper acidity. Zones five to nine are ideal for it. Number seven, hardy hibiscus. Among hardy plants in northern regions, hardy hibiscus has some of the largest flowers, earning it the moniker dinner plate hibiscus. Its timing of flowering is similar to that of the related Rose of Sharon. Keep the soil around your hardy hibiscus plants mulched to help retain moisture, since this is ideal for the plant's growth. In zones four through nine, hardy hibiscus thrives. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.